Um, I'm going to quickly create a sketch for my horizontal plane. And I just want to define a slab outline. Okay, so quickly draw just a slab outline, and then I'm going to create another little outline here for a column. Okay. Um, and I want to, uh, just like before when we were drawing sketches and outputting those elements, uh, there's the output feature here. Uh, in this case, I want to do something very similar, a profile feature. And I'm going to select uh, these elements. Uh, just, it, I just have to select one of them, and it recognizes that this is a closed profile. So this way, um, if I do this, then I have two profiles saved out in my, in my sketch, and I can use those individually. Uh, now I want to create my slab, so I'm going to make this part body active, define a work object. And I'm going to select uh, the slab profile and use a pad, just a basic um, pad tool. And this is this is very like basic uh, um, solid modeling. So I'm going to make that a six inch slab, and you know all this I'm going through right now. Um, okay, so I want to create another part body. Uh, I'm assuming that you already have a file you've created, um, but just not as architecture and structures objects. So I'm just going to create a second body, and I'm going to select that profile for a column, make that a eight-foot column. Okay, so now I have my slab and my column, two separate bodies. So all I need to do is go up to ISC Project Structure, and then um, select my Building Element slab. I'm going to select that, that part body that contains my slab. And I want to click the Attach Package button here. And it asks, it's asking me what type, so I can say Floor, and I can give it a Material, Concrete. So it's attached this slab package, this IFC slab package, uh, to this body. And same goes for this column. Um, you, could, you could select a bunch of columns at once and do this. Uh, at the same time. So I'm going to select column and again attach package and type column and also make that concrete. All right, so now we have um, now we have this this part with these these billing elements assigned. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do quickly do um, IC now, if you see, if I just have a part file open, I can actually um, export this file. The reason is, is um, with SP5, with the new release of, of Digital Project, there's, a, um, there, there's an option. If you just have a part open and you want to export that as an IFC really quickly, uh, it automatically builds the project. It, it inserts the project and the, and the site for you. Um, so I go to IFC Export and click Save. And if I go to my, uh, to my desktop and open up that file, I see here's my, here's my IFC file and, and here's, my, uh, here's the products I created. I created a slab and a column. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy and quick to, um, to go back if you haven't created uh, these elements and um, and assign them the proper ISC attribute packages. Um, now, uh, I want to touch briefly on importing an ISC model. Uh, my intention with this this particular session was to concentrate on how to invest your digital project model with rich information to pass on to others. So. Um, but just real quickly, I want to touch on um, importing an IFC model. 
So uh, let's save that file real quick. I'm going to save that and close that. Close that. And um, I'm going to create, uh, in order to import an IFC model, first thing you need to do is create a new product. And as soon as you, you create a new product, um, you, have this you have the data option, IFC translator, and import. So um, let's, let's take that little IFC model we just created from the existing. Uh, just like the, the 3D DXF, uh, you notice that it has a save and unload parts. So this is very good if you, um, if you have a very large IFC model you're trying to, to bring into the digital project. Um, it also has a place to, to save those uh, files. Um, so that's a so that's a good that's a good option if you're if you're bringing in a large IFC model. All right, so just hit import, and here we have our our uh, and it's already it already has the project and the and the the building that it automatically created um, with the slab and the column defined. Um, real quickly, I want to open up the tools options and point out that under the IFC um, there's also some import options. Um, basically it uh, the, the first option here um, says that if you have a very complex surface and that surface has more than 50 faces then it's gonna it's gonna create um, a CGR which is just a uh, a CATIA graphical representation of the um, of the file instead of giving you um, a surface or a part body, uh, you can bump that up if you wanted to. Um, if you want to um, be able to import uh, all the surfaces and all the part bodies, and also it's going to import um, it's uh, going to import property sets. So. Uh, so if you have that turned off, it's going to just bring in the geometry without the, without the IFC property sets. Okay, so, um, so in conclusion, uh, we've demonstrated today that we can import and export many standard 3D formats for sharing uh, geometry and information between BIM platforms and digital project. When dealing with uh, billing information models, the, uh, the de facto exchange file format is IFC. Um, IFC is an open standard, which means that every vendor, again, if we look back at this, uh, at this Wikipedia page, so every vendor here has chosen uh, to take a different approach with IFC because it's an open standard. Um, our users can help the rest of the digital project community by continuing to add value to our IFC approach by submitting support requests for any issues that you may encounter. Um, if you have any issues um, when dealing with IFC import or export, uh, just go to the Gary Technologies website under support. Uh, there's a request support option here and you can submit a support request. So this is, um, this is, this is an important um, this is important for adding value for everyone using Digital Project. Uh, again, if you're uh, not if you're not currently active on the wiki, uh, take a look at the wiki. It has the, the the documentation for Digital Project available. You need to have a, a sign-in uh, name and login uh, to do that. Um, the uh, the Gary Technologies um, Webinars are available under events. Uh, there's also a Q&A page. Um, so if you have, you know, for any, any questions you may have had, um, other people may have asked them already. So here's, here's questions and answers available. Uh, if, you, uh, if you would like to develop your expertise in digital project on any particular subject um, uh, of your own um, 